Designing a model is the first step to understanding a biological system. However, to learn how the system behaves over time, we need to simulate it. In fact, we probably need to simulate it under many different conditions. For example, the rate of glucose transport into a cell will vary based on the environment. Let's customize a simulation of this model to see how the amount of glucose available for glycolysis affects ATP production. When we first run the simulation, the concentrations of all species are plotted against time. However, this simplified model doesn't account for how ADP is used in other steps of cellular metabolism. Removing it from the plot will help us focus on glucose and ATP, but how do we do that? The Explorer tab contains functionality to customize the output of our simulation. To remove ADP, let's select the plot to edit, click Edit Properties, and uncheck the box. Great! The graph is automatically rescaled so we can see the oscillations in greater detail. This plot enables us to see how individual species change over time, but other types of plots provide additional insight into a system. In this example, plotting ATP concentration against glucose concentration will show how the presence of one affects the other. Under Plots to Generate on the left, we find many types of plots to help us with our analysis. Here we need an XY plot. To set glucose as the X variable, we click on the input box for X. Notice that species are identified by both the name of the compartment and the name of the species. Similarly, let's set the Y variable to be ATP. After we've set up the new plot, check Generate Plots After Run and rerun the simulation. Now we can see the relationship between these two species, such as the values of glucose where ATP production kicks in and where it begins to slow down. In addition to graphical analyses, calculating summary statistics will help us track the effect of varying parameters on different species. We add statistics to our simulation by clicking Statistics. Let's give them short, descriptive names. We use valid MATLAB expressions, remembering to identify species by the compartment and name, which are separated by a dot. After we click OK, the statistics appear in the Explorer tools. Now that we've set the simulation task to produce the statistics and plots we need, we are ready to explore how the amount of glucose available during glycolysis affects the dynamics. Let's change the parameter Vn, which is the rate at which glucose enters the cell, by adding a slider. To do this, we click Quantities and select V in. Let's also define the range of transport rates the slider can take. When we drag the slider to increase the rate glucose enters the cell, the simulation reruns, the statistics are updated, and a new glucose ATP graph is generated. That plot is definitely different, but how do we compare results between simulations? We select Overlay Results. Now, when we change the rate glucose enters the cell, the previous results fade. The most recent run shows up brighter, allowing us to see that the lower transport rate results in slower oscillations. When we turn off overlay, we are left with the most recent simulation results. How else could glucose in the environment affect these oscillations? Now it's your turn to explore models of dynamical systems and see how changing parameters affects the behavior.